My name is Leslie Joseph and in Calendar Girls the Musical I am playing the character of Jessie Raystrick who is a teacher. I did Calendar Girls the play twice so I know that and I've met the, the real Calendar Girls a lot um, from when we were doing the play and I always loved it so I knew the play, I knew the story, how iconic it was and then when Calendar Girls opened in town I went to the first night, absolutely loved it. But I think the musical is quite different because it actually shifts them out a little bit. You get to know a bit more about their story. And obviously there are many more people in the musical because the kids are in it. So it's slightly fleshier than the play. And also you have the difference between the calendar being at the interval or right at the end. So you get to know the characters probably much more. And I think Jessie is one of them that you get to know more in actual Calendar Girls, the musical. So it's exciting. How does it feel to play real life characters? Mm. It's something I didn't really think of when I was doing Chris before because in a way you've got to do your interpretation of it and you can't do imagining how she would look or how she would speak. It's your interpretation of that character. So really you just have to hope that when they come and see it they like what you've done. Um, but to be honest you're in the hands of the director anyway and it's not like putting something on celluloid. Doing something in the theatre is always slightly different to doing it on film or TV. And I never thought that I have to be what she is. So this was just me and my interpretation. It was the same with all of us. Um, and that'll be the same with playing Jessie. Mm. I love touring. Um, I had a, a year in the West End with Young Frankenstein, which was fantastic. But when you tour, you have different audiences wherever you go. Sometimes up north, they're much more voluble, much more in the moment, much more. They laugh much more. Down south, they can be slightly more reserved. Not always, but that depends. But they'll still enjoy it just as much. Um, so you get wonderful theatres. Um, I love going and exploring towns. I love having a day. Not that we've got many days off because sometimes we open on a Tuesday with this, which means you have three matinees a week. But on your days off, just exploring the town, going to cathedrals, going to stately homes, just meeting the girls for lunch. We all love tea and cake, although I'm trying to get that up at the moment. But I, I've, I've always enjoyed touring. That's something I did when I first came in the business years ago. And um, it's something I still love doing. It's a very, very rich evening in the theatre, it really is. Number one, it's based on a very iconic story, a story that happened. The girls are still with us, they're still around. Everybody knows about these ladies of a certain age who came from the WI, and we've always thought of the WI as being <laughs> the Women's Institute and very prim and proper, and a lot of knitting and crochet and making cakes, which of course they do. Um, but real life happens and cancer happens and cancer happens in all our lives will have been touched by cancer either ourselves or somebody we know somebody we love a member of the family or a great friend that's life and to see that on stage you have great empathy with these characters and then they turn that round and make something which was a huge negative into the most amazing positive so it's really really inspirational um, when you meet the ladies and you think, my goodness, you actually went through this story, you took this terrible tragedy, you turned it into something which they thought they were just going to raise money for a sofa, into raising millions, and you've been inspirational to people up and down the country. So when you see it, it makes you laugh a lot, it makes you think, and it makes you cry, and it makes you come out the theatre feeling incredibly positive about life. And of course, the Gary Barlow music, it's wonderful, it's glorious songs. Mm -hmm.